Welcome to my Power Webinar series. My name is Dr. Martin Beckspan. And you may think in lean orthodontics we do everything with straight wire and we always use the power chain for space closure. No, there are still some cases we need loop wires to close the gaps. And when we want to need use when we're going to use loop wires, we need to bend them as well. And what we need for that is, is 17, 25 stainless steel wire and this one here. It's got already the right name, that's a loop bending plier. And now, get down to action. As I'm using mainly straight wire appliances, I use rarely loop wires, but I use them patient with bad oral hygiene because there's so much friction that the classic straight wire system sometimes just doesn't work properly. And I use a loop bending plier and a 1725 stainless steel wire in my 22 slot MBT appliance. I make a mark distally of the tooth that's where the loop has to be between the two and the three and I go downwards apically about eight millimeters and have a U of a size of about three to four millimeters. You can see here how I mark the wire because I'm gonna do that on both sides, the right and the left side. And it's crucial to do that symmetrically when you have a symmetrical case. If you have an asymmetry, obviously you can activate both sides differently and use different force systems on either side. So that's how you do that. It's easily and quickly done. You need to adjust the widths of the wire as well because when you take something off the sagittal plane, um, the wire will get wider. So you need to bring that arch form back into the system. Place it into the molar tubes first and then attach it in the front. And you can see here, when you pull it to the back, the wire is activated. Make a sharp bend at the end and cut it short later. Here same, pull it back, make a sharp bend and cut it off later. And now you have a nicely activated loop wire. 